What is the best and most effective glutathione? To answer that question, it's very critical to understand the method or how you receive glutathione in your body, blood, and cells. Well, why is that? Effectiveness. Does it do any good for your body and to what degree? Just being there in your system may not be there for your body. Welcome to another Magic Glutathione video with J. Mike of Magic Glutathione. Well, let me ask you, would you like to go to your favorite restaurant on a skateboard with two wobbly wheels or in a Rolls Royce? And by the way, would you like to get there in one piece versus running into an accident or two and not showing up with your whole healthy self? Yeah, in one whole piece. And would you like to eat 25 oranges at once or one small acerola cherry to get your vitamin C? That critical information is what you'll learn here. So let's get started. Remember, glutathione is your miracle molecule and it's being destroyed constantly and faster as you get older. So speed of delivery and effectiveness is critical. Today, glutathione is delivered in four main ways. First is that your body creates it and that's enhanced by the food you eat. Second is by taking pills, just like we take a lot of vitamins and minerals today. Third is through IV injection, yes a shot. Finally and fourth is a new technology called hydrostat or nano sizing. Number one, self-production aided by eating certain foods. Glutathione is produced in each of your cells but the huge factory that really puts it out lots of it is your liver. Remember that glutathione is a peptide, the premier peptide that is created by three others. Those are glutamate, glycine, and the fragile cysteine. One of the properties of glutathione that makes it so effective is its stickiness. That benefit is that free radicals are attracted to the glutathione molecules and get attached to it and are not allowed to get away just like flies stuck on flypaper. The component of glutathione that causes that is sulfur. Yeah, it's sulfur based. So to enhance your glutathione through self-production, you'll want to eat sulfur infused foods and vegetables like cabbage, radishes, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and kale, and a few more. Those are called cruciferous foods. But remember, your body's production of glutathione drops by 10% every decade starting in your 20s. And that doesn't take into account the far greater destruction of glutathione due to pollution, free radicals, stress, infections, medicines, and more. So to provide adequate or even basic levels of glutathione in your body, you'll need to supplement. Well, that brings us to the second source for glutathione. Number two pills. Since the 1800s, supplemental delivery methods have essentially stayed the same through pills, capsules, and powders. And that's the same for glutathione. Those pills work their way down into your gut where they're supposed to be converted and sent along into your bloodstream. But they must first go through a destructive gauntlet. You see, glutathione is a delicate long-chain tripeptide that is broken or basically destroyed by stomach enzymes and acids. Hopefully, some will make it through to your bloodstream, just like a salmon spawning. You know that yearly, only a few salmon make the complete journey from the sea, traveling upstream to spawn and leave eggs for the next generation before they die. It's the same with pill forms of glutathione. Very few get through. There has been a recent improvement called liposomes. It's a way of delivering glutathione into your bloodstream through your gut by protecting it with a coating of liposomes, which basically are fats. Actually, fats encapsulate or act as carriers for the glutathione and its components. That security guard helps getting past your stomach with far less casualties and a larger portion of it getting past your stomach's acids and enzymes. Still, one of the problems with that is that the fat carriers lose a lot of their glutathione passengers on the voyage through your stomach. Another one of the problems is that fats attract other undesirables to go along with the ride. 
and possibly those get into your liver. Also, the whole package can go rancid very quickly. Number three, IVs. IV injections have been in existence for a while now and doctors use it often. It gets in your bloodstream, but it's broken down into its components, glutamate, cysteine, and glycine, and then gets into your cells with those components and they are re reconstructed into glutathione, taking up to 26 minutes according to a study. This method is very, very costly and not really comfortable. Remember the half-life of glutathione is 90 minutes once it's in your cells and only 10 minutes if you're exercising. So you're reducing its effectiveness in half rather quickly, meaning you'll be receiving the effects of this miracle molecule for about six hours and a lot less up to 24 hours. Remember I told you it's a bit expensive? We'll check the price on Google. And we type in glutathione Notice what the autocomplete is. The first one is injections. Let's go take a look at the injections. They must be important. Look at the prices here. <laughs> How long do glutathione injections last? Boom. Look at that. 15 to 20 minutes. That's not very long. So you can see that could be hundreds and thousands of dollars per month if you do it regularly. It's also rather inconvenient. So again, IVs are quick, inconvenient, and a bit bothersome, the highest cost by far, and rather short term. Number four, nano-sized glutathione. Now a new technology called nanotechnology addresses most of the concerns on the fragile peptide glutathione. What does it do? Hydrostat shrinks the glutathione to 10 nanometers. Why? So glutathione can avoid the destroyers and get to enter the cells directly. Now, how's that? Well, the nano-sized glutathione is swished in the mouth, much like a mouthwash. The particles enter your bloodstream through your mucous membranes in your mouth and the venous cavity. Now, why is that important? Well, it gives you the full potency and quickly beating the half-life and providing maximum benefit. Users often feel the effects in moments, not hours or days. Many nutrients and even medicines will soon be nano-sized for quicker and more effective use by your body. This is a huge breakthrough in not only in glutathione technology, but in overall medicine and nutrients. So what conclusions can we arrive at? Speed of delivery and effectiveness is critical. So let me ask you again, would you rather take a skateboard, a Ford Fairlane, or a Learjet to get this miracle molecule into your system? It's your choice. See, technology can be wonderful, and it certainly is regarding glutathione. Start your glutathione reinforcement process leading to better health, performance, and mental clarity. See you on the next Magic Glute video.